Now we're under the Approve Time tab under the Timesheets menu. And the purpose of this screen is to allow you to quickly review and approve your staff timesheets each day. Now by far the best practice is to do this every morning. Ideally your office staff comes in, they see yesterday's timesheets, all of those should have a status of submitted indicating the foreman finished their timesheet yesterday and submitted it for the office's approval the next morning. Your office can review and look at these timesheets, approve them as necessary, and then you're never more than a day behind. That helps a lot. It means that errors, if they do happen, and they will, get corrected the next day. You're not trying to remember back five or six days and people aren't guessing as to what happened. It also enforces that your foreman fill out their timesheets each day and that they don't wait till the end of the week to submit them all. That's going to make payroll a lot easier, a lot more accurate, and a lot less stressful. Because if there are errors the day before payroll's got to go out, somebody's running around chasing those errors down, or worse, just skipping over them and putting in whatever just to get the paychecks out on time. If you do this daily, you should find both your time tracking, your payroll, and your job costing get a lot more accurate and a lot more trustworthy. Now here's what your office would be looking at when they came to this screen. By default, it shows them all unapproved. So these are all the timesheets that have been submitted or are under review, but have not yet been approved. To look at timesheet data, you can see here the timesheet date, the foreman that submitted the timesheet, and its current status. The next little box over here is a red pencil, and hopefully you don't see anything like on my screen. I show a red pencil beside every timesheet. You'd like not to. A red pencil indicates that a foreman has overridden the phone's date and time and plugged in their own. Now that's going to happen once in a while because your foreman are going to forget to clock in or forget to clock out and they'll have to go back in and manually edit it. But it shouldn't show up all the time. If I want to see what my foreman has changed, I can slide over here to the audit button and click that. And that's going to show me a clock in time and a clock out time. Now you can see here Dave Barr clocked in April 14th at 7 o'clock a.m. But it actually was April the 16th, 11.30 a.m. when he either filled out or edited this time. So that's telling me two days later, Dave's filling out his timesheets. And this is stuff that I don't want to see on a regular basis. Once again, it's going to happen once in a while to fix errors. But if I'm seeing this every day, I've got a foreman who's not filling out timesheets when they should. Now, if this all looks well and good, you can click the Approve button. Or you can also click the OK button to just go back to the menu without approving it. If there are no pencil icons here and you just want to review the hours, you can click the Review button. The Review is the green button. And that's basically going to give me a summary of today's start time and end time, the total hours for each employee on the timesheet, whether they took lunch or not, and how those hours were broken down throughout the day. For instance, I can see here at the shop, they were there from 7 a.m. to 7.28. Then they were over at the mall from 7.28 to 11.30. From 11.30 to 4.30, they were at the Jones, and then back to the shop from 4.30 to 5.32. Total hours for employees match the total hours for jobs. I know payroll and job costing are in line. If I'm happy with this timesheet here, I'm gonna click Approve. And it'll disappear from my list now as it's been set to Approved. Now, if you need to make changes to a timesheet, you've also got the open button here. Open button will allow you to edit the timesheet. And here I can change anything from employees to times, uh, jobs. You have full control over the timesheet as an administrator here to make whatever changes you need to make this timesheet accurate. Now, if you're not approving your timesheets one at a time, which is easy enough, you can also approve them in a batch. So for instance, I can tick off these three timesheets, go down here and hit approve selected. And if I approve them, they'll disappear from the screen and they're now set to approved. I can also unapprove timesheets. So for instance, if I was reviewing a list of approved timesheets and I realized there was a mistake or something shouldn't have gotten approved, I can tick it off and I can come down here and say unapproved selected. And it's going to set that timesheet back to under review. And then I can continue to make changes or have the foreman make changes if it's on their end. That's it for the approved time screen. That should make it faster and simpler for you to review timesheets each day or weekly in order to get ready for payroll and job costing.